Hello and welcome. I'd like to introduce you to an old friend of mine, my sewing machine. It's been a while since I dusted off this little buddy and I decided to fire it up and put together a little beanbag chair project. I decided to make it shaped like Snorlax. My boyfriend and I are excited to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet when they come out. And we're ready to welcome new Pokemon, but it's important to celebrate the OG ones too. And Snorlax is one that holds a special place in our hearts. <laughs> Let's completely forget to film the marking and cutting phase and start right with the sewing montage. I at least remembered to film the boring pinning part. After pinning the zipper to the fabric, it's time to sew. And it was on this day that I learned about a zipper foot. It definitely made the sewing process so much easier. So this is how the base shape turned out. I do want to point out a couple of mistakes. For example, the sharpie showing through the fabric here. Probably should have used a different marking tool and random divots in these locations. Lastly, why do I have corners and why are they shaped like butts? All in all, I'd say I'm content with the first part of this, so I guess I'll just grab a short dinner and we'll jump right into part two. So we're heading out to go grab some pizza, but I wanted to show you how pretty the trees looked. Autumn is on its way. So here we are in part two. I am attempting to draw a pattern or at least try to create a plan uh, for this next attack. I had recently learned about creating darts in order to make a shape appear more 3D. So here I'm attempting to implement them We'll see how they turn out when I cut the pattern out, I guess.
After drawing out this new plan, I realized I needed to hop to the store to get some more materials. I kind of derailed a bit and grabbed a couple of groceries and maybe a couple of snacks. But in my defense, most of them were for my friend's birthday, so... I didn't mention in the haul, but I did get some more fabric so I can cut out my pattern. And here we go again with the pinning. Oh, would you looky here? We have a guest appearance. It's our little old man. His name is Kitten. Just finished sewing the head, and now I'm going to stuff it. So this is how the head came out. Um, it is a bit small, like I feared it would be, <laughs> but I, I think this eye still looks pretty good for it. Um, it it's, it's still pretty proportional. Um, yeah, it, just a little small. <laughs> um, one thing I noted is I accidentally formed ears. I mean, I'm not like, I'm actually not mad about it. Does anybody else feel a sense of satisfaction after emptying out a bobbin or finishing a roll of thread? This is how the arm came out. It kind of looks like a foot. Alright, so <laughs> I think the shape of this arm came out much better. Mm, could be better, but at least it didn't come out looking like this one. <laughs>
The feet are complete. I did end up putting some stuffing in the toes. Now to work on the face. Ta-da! Snorlax feedback chair is complete. It definitely could have turned out better. I made quite a few mistakes and wasted a lot of time with manual or hand sewing when a little bit of planning ahead of time could have saved me all that trouble. But in the end, he's actually quite comfortable to lay on and turned out a lot better than I expected him to. I definitely learned a lot from working on this project, and I learned a lot even from making this video. I hope you learned something new along with me. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.